Denver Discovery students. It's a beautiful, warm day out there. All right. Keeping middle school students' we'll attention. We'll move on with our facts for today. It's sometimes a challenge. Today is February the 12th. What's something that happened, mm -hmm. Miss Bella? Denver Discovery School 7th and 8th grade science school teacher Akista Cox is eight. all about a challenge. Uh, everyone in this school knows I'm a very competitive teacher. That competitiveness is contagious. My students, we're very competitive and we, um, before Christmas break, we just had a contest where we, it was a three-way tie and we're like, we're not tying when it comes to Black History Month. The task, create a display on Black History. The inspiration for Miss Cox's class was much bigger. Okay, let's do a museum. Okay, what do we want to have in this museum? Well, every year Black History Month, they know about the Civil Rights Movement, so we're going to put some things in there. They also wanted to step out of the traditional box and put their focus on something new. There are 101 African Americans who were the first to achieve something great. Like An eye-opening piece of the exhibit for eighth grader Napoleon Dobbs. The thing that stands out most to me is just how many people there is that we don't, that I personally don't know of that were the first to achieve something great in history. We watched the movie called The 13th on um, class and it reminded me how there's still so many people in prison. The film looks at the history of race in the criminal justice system. Using the film as a model, Anaya Perkins and her classmates built this jail to teach their classmates and teachers about mass incarceration. We had three beds and only some people have to sleep on the floor constantly. Miss Cox wanted the class to pay tribute to the past beyond slavery. Have you ever heard about us being kings and queens before that? So let's add an exhibit about that instead of just slavery. Let's go back when to a history that no one really wants to talk about. So they included black Egyptians on the upper level. Yes, Martin Luther King dreamed of an America where people would not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. The process, a lesson in itself, one that will stick with the students beyond the eighth grade class. As a senior, instead of you're gonna be going to college, you're gonna be competing for scholarships and you wanna be just as competitive. And Chalk B to cite the reports on education released an article about Denver students who visited the African American History Museum in Washington. Said one student called it unacceptable that black students have to travel a thousand miles to learn about their history. A Denver school board member said the district is working on incorporating more black history into American history. And Ms. Cox at Denver Discovery School says that is what she's trying to accomplish with her class.